can shake an apple of an apple tree Shake, shake, sugar, but you never shake me hey, hey. This is RCA Studio B. This is where Elvis did most of his recording, and uh, and these gentlemen here did most of his recording. And uh, so we thought it'd be great to put together a session for Lisa and uh, have her right here where he did it. So we're standing in the shadow of the king, and and uh, uh, they're all pretty excited to be here. We have a microphone, CJ. Are we off? Oh, my God. We're gonna wrap this oh. thing. Do you want to feel the vibe? Oh, Just feel yes, the vibe. Feel the vibe. You know what this is? <laughs> this is the Elvis uh, microphone. Elvis called me in '69 and asked me to put a band together. I was a little nervous because I hadn't played for the King before. But what if he hates the style? <laughs> this could be the end of my career. I thought. You know, this is Elvis Presley. <laughs> the first night I played for him, he came through that door right over there, and he was wearing a black cape. And he came strutting in. He looked around. He smiled. He goes. Anybody want to make a phonograph record? <laughs> everybody broke up. <laughs> and he sort of threw off the cape and held his arms out like, everybody come and embrace me, you know? Yeah. I was actually in here at the piano. Remember we had the piano turn? And I was sitting, I was sitting right in here, the drums. Drums was back a little bit. And, uh, yeah. and you were right over in there. Yeah, I was on the other side of that bathroom. Yeah. That's where I'm going to be today. Yeah. And Elvis is right here. <laughs> Her interpretation of these wonderful songs is just so unique. It just it felt like something that needed to be done. So it's it's she's a wonderful singer. Don't you see that now you've gone and I'm left here on my And beg you to come home You don't have to say you love me Just be close at hand You don't have to stay forever I will understand You know, the thing that, that we're always looking for is, is someone who's doing it a little differently What do they call those people who imitate Elvis? Elvis, Elvis the <laughs> Well, she, she makes she makes no attempt to do that. She's Tribute doing, artist. Yeah, you know, and she's doing some wonderful intro and <clears throat> things that I've never heard before. Yeah, yeah the arrangements cool. being so different, you know. Yeah, it's completely different. <laughs> yeah. And on that thread, Osborne brought so much to the project. The demos that they put together just sounded so beautiful and so magical that, that uh, he brought, uh, he was able to uh, musically interpret where she was trying to take the music. Glenn D is going to be orchestrating all the strings on, uh, on Lisa's record that we've cut. The tracks and the, the Norwegian Radio Orchestra will be uh, doing the strings on this, so we can't wait to hear it finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. that's going to be incredible. Yeah. It really is going to be incredible. I see a change is coming to our lives. It's not the same as it used to be. And it's not too late to realize our mistakes. We're just not right for each other. Has slipped away, left us only friends. We almost seem like strangers. All that's left between us are the memories we shared of the times we thought we cared for each other. There's nothing left to do but go our separate ways. Pick up all the pieces left behind us And maybe someday, somewhere along the way 